Caesar is before all a concept. It is a concept of simplicity with high technology, uh, which means it is a system that's been devised to be very simple to use, very simple to operate by the crew, very simple to maintain and deploy in the field. And this is thanks to uh, high, the, all the, the high technology that is built in the system. The, the one that is being displayed here is the, the standard version that's been acquired by the French army and other, other armies, which is a Renault truck uh, chassis. But as you said, it is also possible to fit the artillery system on other carriers. The French army has decided to have five people operating on the gun. The, the two in the front are the driver and the gun commander. The three at the back are the servants. Although four only would be necessary to operate the gun and to uh, achieve the, uh, the maximum performances. The cabin that you have here is the six by six cabin. The standard, uh, the standard level of protection is level one. Now, as it has been used by the French army in Afghanistan, for, for example, uh, there's also, you can add armor pla plates, so in order to reach level two ballistic protection. That's uh, the one part of the fire control system. That is where the ballistic uh, calculation is done, and that is where the, uh, the gun commander will get his fire mission. When the truck is on the move or in a hiding position, camouflage position, waiting for a firing mission, the, um, the gun commander is inside the cabin waiting for, firing, uh, for, for the, uh, the fire orders. When he gets the, um, the firing mission, all the, uh, the calculation, the uh, ballistic computation will be done here, then sent to the back of uh, the gun because as you know, the gun is operated by the crew, by a dismounted crew. So from the reception of the fire mission to the gun being ready, it's one minute. And this is because everything is automated uh, and digitized. Just below the uh, ammunition uh, racks, there's a platform. The platform is intended to facilitate handling of ammunition by the ammunition loaders. I'm going to show you. Now with the platform, it means that whatever the terrain conditions, whatever uh, how bumpy is the, is the ground below the, the Caesar, the uh, ammunition bearer has a very comfortable situation to work on. He has solid ground and he's at the right level to handle the ammunition. As far as ammunition are concerned, uh, on both sides of uh, Caesar, you will find the uh, ammo racks on the right hand side, and the propelling charges on the left hand side of the truck. The uh, storage capacity is 18, 18 complete rounds, that is rounds being, being fired at maximum charge. Um, the design is very simple. The, uh, the shells with their fuse already screwed on top of them are stored in those compartments. When the crew is on the position, all they have to do is remove the cover that is holding the, the securing the, um, the the shells during uh, movement. Take the shells and then go back to um, to the rear of the gun to feed the automatic loading system. So once the ammunition has been extracted from the ammunition rack, uh, it is handled to a second ammunition bearer, whose role it is to just put it into the ammo loading tray. And then the machine will take into account and load and ram the ammunition into the, the chamber automatically. It is simply done by rotating this loading tray and then a rammer will push gently the ammunition until it, it gets in contact with the, uh, the rifled bore. Once the, uh, the scissor is, is stopped in its firing position, the crew will just have to push a button to lift the rear of the truck. The main purpose is to prevent the recoil of the gun and all the impact being transmitted directly to the tires and the suspension. So in fact, all the recoil force will be transmitted through this platform and the spades that are maintaining the stabiliz stabilization of the gun. All this is done automatically. That's what I was talking about. It takes less than one minute to set all this in action directly from the, the onboard computer.
This is the uh, second part of the fire control system. This one is designed to uh, display all the firing data. So once the, uh, the gun commander has his fire mission, he stops on to find a, find a firing position nearby, stops, get into action in one minute. All the information are sent back on this display at the rear because the, the, the crew will have to serve to operate the gun dismounted. On this, you have the firing data, you have a built-in di diagnostic uh, system, you have uh, maintenance, you have everything. So there are sensors everywhere on the, uh, on the system. All information is displayed over here. And the interface is very simple. So that's what I, that's what I was seeing. The, the whole concept of Caesar is simplicity. So uh, Caesar, in addition to its normal artillery capability, is, has also the capacity to, uh, to do direct firing. Uh, to do this, there is a mount here on which an optical sight is fitted and uh, the aim is doing by just moving the, uh, moving the gun with the hydraulic uh, uh, command here. To do so, to, to, to aim the target, um, the gun layer would just have to stand on this little platform and then adjust sight and fire on, its, uh, on, the, on the enemy. During movement or, or transport by sea or by train, uh, the gun is, is locked into a travel lock that is preventing mo it moving from one side to side. We've talked about the truck, we've talked about the ammunition, but of course the main feature of an artillery system is the gun, of course. Uh, so here we have a 155mm one, one gun that is 52 calibers, um, NATO standards, with a uh, compliant with GBMOU, uh, 23 liter chamber that is firing uh, all NATO compatible ammunitions. Basically the, per the performance of, uh, of the gun is a range of 42 kilometers with extended range, uh, full bore uh, ammunitions, uh, which is the nowadays standard for uh, 155, 52 calibers. The rate of fire, thanks to the uh, automatic loading system, is six rounds per minute. One of the, one question that is asked is about accuracy. Well, there are a couple of reasons why Caesar is so accurate. The first one, of course, is that it is equipped with a, all the digital, modern digitized equipment. The second reason is because it's mounted on a truck. You may have seen some, a couple of, of videos of images where uh, Caesar, and particularly firing at, at long range, is, is shaking a lot. Uh, but that's not, that's not important because between each round, the system will relay the gun. So no matter how the, uh, the gun, the, the truck, has moved during the fire, the gun will be relayed exactly on the same firing data as the previous round. And there's also another uh, uh, superior advantage of Caesar. It, it is equipped with a screw bridge which ensures air tightness over a long period of time, including firing with uh, high charges.